The work represented on the conference de developed in the frame of the second part of the project the regulating the construction on the Ushu River, and this part is concerning uh, the flood protection the city Ushgorod, the central part of city Ushgorod. In short, the problem. Floods in the Uj River are observed both in the summer and in the cold period several times a year. The highest flood occurred on the December 1957 and the extreme flood of the last 15 years was in November 1992 and this flood caused significant damage in the center of the Ushgorod. So the aim of the work is to update hydrological calculations to assess the flood risks in the central part of the city Ushgorod and to develop an environmentally friendly green flood mitigation measures. The hydrological of long-term observation were taken from the city of Ushgorod gauging station and flood of 1% and 10% probability were calculating using graphoanalytical method. A study area is the central part of the Ushgorod city. The Uj River flood plain is limited on both sides by dikes covered with grass. Uh, these dikes are calculated for flood 1% pr probability except the dike near the Bosdush Park, which were built uh, for the flood of 10% pr probability. There are five bridges in the territory of central part of Ushgorod. During floods, uh, the territory of Bosdush Park and Botanic Garden flooded every two, three years. Hydraulic calculation of the flood level of the 1% probability were carried out using HECRAS software, a 1D flow model. The basis of the calculation is a digital model of the area in the form of cross section and the section of bridges. The surface roughness data for the model were taken according to the analysis of land cover. The bottom of Ush River is covered with large stones and pebbles, dike with grass vegetation. The calibration of the model and the termination of the calculated value of mining coefficient took place according to the historical flood in 1992. Roughnesses data for the, med, for the model were taken for the bottom and for the right and left banks covered with vegetation uh, separately for park territory and for stone retaining walls. Uh, the calculation showed that the flood flow of 1% probability passed free under the bridges. Uh, the suspension of bridge had, has uh, uh, the lowest room, but it's enough um, to pass the flood. The central part of the city uh, from the gauging station to the Babiak Bridge on the right bank of the river are protected by dikes. Um, the private houses uh, upper the gauging station has concrete retaining wall in this part of the city and will not be flooded during the uh, flood of 1% probability. The flood overflows into the botanic garden and into the Bosdash Park. And uh, some short uh, sites near the Masaryk Bridge and uh, between the suspension bridge and uh, Masaryk Bridge. Uh, the left bank of the Uj River is reliably protected from the flooding uh, except Bosdash Park. Uh, the old dike near the Bosdash Park is significantly lower than the flood 1% probability, so some parts of the center of Ushgorod need extra protection. Uh, traditional 
flood protection measures, it's gray measures such as dikes, retaining walls, canalization of the river. Sustainable development goals require other approaches to protect against extreme floods. It's such called green measures. Uh, as green measures, we, uh, as usual, proposed floodplain restoration, expansion of the room of the floodplain, increasing the roughness using vegetation, using the multi-thread channels, using dry and wet retention reservoirs, creating green zone to increase the time of rainwater runoff into the river, vertical vegetation, green facades, vegetation elements in the area tree and tree lines, artificial wetlands, permeable and semi-permeable grass and um, concrete land covers. Uh, mobile flood control system is not in reality a green measure because it's made with artificial materials, but if we uh, compare the influence of the, on the environment, mobile flood control system uh, could be near to green measures than to grain measures. Uh, so in our work, uh, we consider it as uh, such green measures for protection dry mountain reservoir. Uh, it is rather effective method to mitigation flood measures. But if we speak about especially Ushgrad, that retention reservoir are located at the considerable distance from the city. That's why their influence uh, on the levels of the water would be insignificant. After cleaning Oxbow Lakes and uh, um, Old River Bed, uh, it, is a, it is possible to retain a small volume of water of 170,000 of cubic meters on this uh, territory during uh, the flood. The Old River Bed on the Uz River, uh, which located in the Bosdosh Park, uh, after cleaning and strengthening, can be used to discharge some part of uh, fluid water uh, and lower the fluid level in front of the suspension bridge. Uh, to protect some part of the embankment, uh, we propose to use mobile fluid barriers that will allow not to narrow the fluid plane in green zone. Uh, and it would be enough one uh, half of the meter for such uh, sites. Uh, to protect uh, some building in the botanic garden, we propose uh, the same uh, mobile flood barrier, but uh, it should be uh, the high of two meters. Uh, the assessment showed that it is not possible to create absolutely green flood protection measures in existing city, uh, but we can try to achieve a holistic approach, trying as much as possible to use environmentally friendly measures um, to suspend the conception, conception of sustainable city. And I may say that it was the first part of, um, of this um, calculation. We just calculated 1% probability flood level in existing natural uh, condition uh, for modeling uh, the work of the Oxbow Lake, um, Old River Bed, and uh, the future flap uh, gates on this uh, part of the river. We should um, simulate uh, uh, to the model in FICRAS uh, to determine the influence of these structures uh, on the flood levels. Thank you for your attention.